So I've been seeing a lot of posts these days around the internet, um, a lot of memes and so on, that blame fluoride for the perceived apathy of the general public. I really think that the origin of this conspiracy theory is a conversation in which one person made a joke and the other person took it seriously. Why are people out in the street demonstrating, man? There must be like something in the water. Oh my god, dude, you're right. There's fluoride in the water. Now, I recently ran for office and I took my job as a candidate very seriously. I knocked on every door in my district and I probably spoke to at least a third of the people who live in my district. You know why people don't care? Because they're overwhelmed. It's not that they don't know what's going on or that they don't care. It's that they're paralyzed. There's a war on, there's constant threats from the media about terrorism. People have to worry about being downsized or outsourced or laid off or shrinkaged or pink slipped. They fight with their spouse over money. People don't have enough money to make ends meet. They try to get help from the government. The government's not helping. And you know what? Going through that on a daily basis is exhausting. Working a nine hour a day job that you don't even like and then coming home to screaming children and a spouse who's being shitty at you because you're fighting over money. You got bills you can't pay. You're worried about making ends meet and then you, you know, you sit down on the couch, you have a beer, you turn on the television, and then you're just bombarded with all the horrible shit that's going on in the world. It's just paralyzing. People want to care, but they're completely demoralized. I mean, you, can you blame them? The reason why people don't take action is because they feel small, they feel powerless, they feel insignificant. Being an activist requires you to invest a lot of time and energy. Why would somebody who's already exhausted spend that last tiny shred of energy doing something that probably isn't going to help things, at least not in any immediate sense, and doesn't even make them feel good? Like, imagine all the horrible shit that's going on in the world and then all the horrible shit that you have to deal with on a daily basis and then someone tells you, oh, you have to care about this other thing that's also completely fucked up and also is gonna make you feel horrible. Which is why we need to make activism fun. Which is why love and nonviolence is the key to winning this revolution. If we concentrate on making activism something where people feel more empowered and less depressed, will win. If you're watching The Punk Patriot, to life, liberty, and pursuit of a less fucked up government, if you like this video, please donate what you think it was worth. Um, you can find the link down in uh, the description of the video. Um, also, let me know what you think in the comments section. Please share this video with your friends and your enemies. The only way that this uh, channel will expand is through word of mouth and people like you. So thank you very much. Peace.